Demodex blepharitis is a serious lid margin disease that can lead to lash abnormalities, inflammation of the eye and eyelid, and blurred vision. 80% of Demodex blepharitis patients surveyed reported that it negatively impacts their daily life. The disease is characterized by debris on the eyelashes, redness, irritation, inflammation, itching, and dryness. It is a common, yet often overlooked or misdiagnosed disease seen in about 58% of eye care patients or as many as 25 million patients in the US. Demodex blepharitis can be confidently diagnosed by looking for collarettes. Simply start each slit lamp exam by asking patients to look down while you check for collarettes on the upper lid margin. Collarettes are cylindrical, waxy debris typically found at the base of the eyelash. Studies show that 100% of blepharitis patients with collarettes have demodex mites. Demodex mites are the most common ectoparasites found on humans. An overgrowth of mites can quickly lead to blepharitis. In fact, demodex mites are the leading cause of blepharitis, accounting for over two-thirds of cases. The most common species of demodex mite, demodex folliculorum, inhabits the eyelash follicles where it burrows into the epithelial cell lining, chemically digests the oily sebum deep in the follicle, and carries harmful bacteria causing redness, irritation, inflammation, itching, and dryness. As the mites proliferate, this tissue damage and blockage of the follicles lead to follicular distension, misdirected lashes, and thinning or loss of lashes. The partially digested epithelial cells, keratin, mite waste, and eggs combine to form collarettes. Collarettes are the pathognomonic sign of demodex blepharitis, which means their presence can be used to confidently diagnose this highly prevalent disease. The smaller species of mite, demodex brevis, prefers the rich mybum in the mybomian glands, which are responsible for maintaining the lipid layer of the tear film. Blockage of these glands can lead to mybomian gland disease, which is the leading cause of dry eye.